Query Rules is a powerful feature with lots of options, allowing you to build things like merchandising, dynamic banner display, and even some basic intent detection. The best way to get comfortable with it is to start playing with some rules. This is the skeleton of a query rule. We'll skip the object ID for now and we'll just focus on the condition and the consequence. These are essentially the implementation details of an if this, then that logic. If the condition is satisfied, then perform the consequences. The condition triggers a rule and the consequence is what happens when the rule is triggered. So if a query contains X, then do ABC. We've got this cool gray t-shirt that just came in stock in our e-commerce store and we want to promote it whenever someone searches for tea. Because it's new, we don't have any rating on it yet and we are using rating as a custom ranking. So better rated t-shirt that were there before will show up first and our new t-shirt will be last. So we need to create a rule to resolve this. Let's start with a condition. To define a condition, Algolia gives you two parameters, the pattern and the anchoring. Pattern defines the precise query terms that you are looking for, and anchoring tells the engine how to spot them. So in our example, the pattern is T, so let's start writing pattern T. We just need now to define how we want to find it. To do that, we have four choices. Is, which is exactly the query, contains, begins with, or ends with. So for our specific case, let's go with the most common one, contains. So now, if the search engine sees the word T anywhere inside the query, what should it do? This is the job of the consequence. Let's use the promote consequence. There again, we have two parameters to set, object ID and position. When you think of it, those parameters make sense because we want to promote a single item identified by its object ID to a specific position in the result set. To do this, we need to grab the item from the index and tell the engine where to place it in the result. So let's write this rule is promote, that's an array because we can actually promote multiple uh, objects and multiple records. So here we'll only have one object ID, which is one, two, three, four, and then the position. I want this one to be at the top of the results. So first position, then um, we're gonna need to save that rule. So index dot save rule, and just copy pasting the rule that I've defined in there, sending that to the index. And now, if I'm doing the search again, so TEE, -E, my cool t-shirt is indeed in first position thanks to our new query rule. The search result page is a great place to display promotional banners that promote specific products, categories, or even pages related to the specific query that we've just typed. And this can be achieved with a query rule. So let's see how to display a banner promoting our awesome great t-shirt when searching for TEE. -E. We'll start from our previous rule, keeping the exact same condition. And here, the only change will be in the consequence. So let's replace it with user data. As a type, I will add banner image, it's a shirt dash image.png. And the link, which we redirect our user when clicking it, it's a URL, so this URL, and we're done. Calling the index save rule, boom. So we've replaced the position parameter with a user data object, which will contain all the information we need on the client side to display the banner. By the way, user data is an open JSON format, so it can contain any number of attributes. In our case, we simply need type, image name, and the link. And that's it. If we search for T on our website, we can see if I open the console that I get the user data uh, parameter as part of the JSON response. Combining that response with some code on our 
front end. Then we'll have a nice banner displayed on the result page.